do something like this. <coughs> I'm just going to suggest we bring the hands onto the belly as much as the belly can get. I'm just avoiding the uh, umbilicus by putting my hands in a bit of a triangle like that. So the thumbs will come underneath it and we'll be off to the side. So it is coming into that sort of oblique rectus zone. And then don't go too low. I always think the peritoneum is like at the bottom of your belly, isn't it? It becomes, it, it's kind of, well you can feel it actually, you can feel where the peritoneum ends and, and where it isn't, just by putting your hand on. So it's here actually in one. Why did you say it's actually. the back of your leg? Belt. So you can kind of feel that in yourself. You put your hands on that sort of belt zone. You can feel that there is a cavity shift. The peritoneal cavity ends and then the pelvic cavity begins. Yeah, so let's stay north of the pelvic cavity. Hands are like this and, and let's go through this, you know, hello whole body, state balance, awareness, all that business. But what I want us to do is go, let's appreciate the layers here. So we're just going to invite the layers into our touch and perception. So let's be interested in this whole sort of rectus sheath. That is very, really quite easy to feel. It, it starts up here in the sternum, doesn't it? And the, um, the, the costal margin. And comes right down to the pubis. It's like a huge strip. So let's open up to that. Yeah. I'm sure you've felt it before. In sessions and then let's open up to what's underneath. What's underneath is this deepest layer of the abdo abdomen, it's the transversus fascia which is the fascia that is looking in to the peritoneum. The peritoneum is looking at the transversal fascia and uh, hopefully doing that. That's the idea isn't it? So let's open up to that. That's kind of underneath everything on, in the abdomen wall. You can feel it, it goes like that. You get in contact with the transversus and it's fascia, you just go like that. Which is different than that, isn't it? That is a long strip. So we can then do that as part two, just kind of going, well let's open up to that particular feeling. And then part three is, let's see if we can discriminate the peritoneum. Yeah, so the parietal peritoneum will lead you into a relationship with this sack of the whole gut. So we're going from that to that to the sack, which is a big volume, isn't it? So that feels quite different all of a sudden. And that's, uh, that's a, it's a, it's a different kind of connective tissue. It's a, it's a membranous feeling. And then let's open up on the inside of that to this greater amount, and it's, it's what's just under the parietal layer, isn't it? There's that outermost parietal layer, and underneath this big little uh, cosy wrap, adipose, thick, uh, greater amount. How's that? That's the next thing down, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. That is full of adipose tissue. It feels totally different than anything else. Yeah, it's like a bubble wrap. That's what it feels like, and, it, and, it, and it's that shape on the whole, although it might be slightly positioned. And then, if we do the last opening up, we will come into the visceral layer, yeah? and then you're into the organs. That's when the organs will start coming to you in particulars, you know. So, I'll perhaps I'll write that down, and, and well, I'll cue it to you as we go. Yeah, rectus, transversus. <coughs> Parietal, greater momentum, visceral. Wow, five layers. How about that? Yeah.